if you want to get your hamstrings toned up, the back of your legs, this is probably one of the best, most effective exercises I can give you. And by the way, cellulite, you can reduce and eliminate cellulite, contrary to some belief. And doing exercises like this can definitely help you build up that muscle tissue back there that flattens that area out, as well as you losing body fat at the same time. Very uh, important on the setup and how this movement's done. I see a lot of people get this wrong. Number one, if you stand up from this and you are walking normal, you didn't do it right. So very important to warm up the hamstrings very well before you do this because it can rip your hamstring off the bone. And number two, if you, if you didn't feel it, you didn't do it. All right, so a couple reasons why you didn't feel it is because the butt may have came out like this and you're here, maybe just worried that you're gonna fall down. You didn't keep the, the entire body engaged and get the tilt going the entire time. You gotta think about Michael Jackson on smooth criminal. The other thing that you may not be doing right <clears throat> you may be using your hands too much. So when I'm putting my hands on a box, you know, I still got tension on my hamstrings. I'm, I can move my fingertips on this box. I'm barely using it on the way down and on the way up. So that's the classic Nordic pop-up. Or classic Nordic is it's a negative and a positive. So I'm really focusing on trying to stay off, keeping this angle from my heel to my butt as close as possible, even though it's gonna lengthen. And then on the way up, I'm not really pushing off. I just have my hands there for assistance to keep me in a smooth movement and I'm barely pushing so I can get just enough so I can get those hamstrings engaged to get myself back up. Now, uh, I want to talk about a setup and two other variations of this because I just showed you our Nordic, which is a negative and a positive. Uh, the, uh, the setup, you got a barbell, it needs to be have plates on it, 15s or above, have a pad, and I have two mats here. The other thing that you want to have is you want to be, you want your knees as far away from this bar as possible. You don't want to be up under this thing. You want to be out as far as possible. And when those ankles, or your, uh, when your ankles hit the bar, your heels hit the bar, then boom, you know you're set up. The box can change as far as heights go. That just depends on your leg, torso, torso length, and how strong your hamstrings are. So I can still get the same movement here. You can go ahead and touch the movement early, but just don't use it very much, right? Um, and then the two other variations that you want to do, uh, one is just focusing on negatives. So just that top part where I'm getting here, trying to hold on as long as I can. When I get to the bottom, I'm pushing up, not really getting much of the positive part. And then the reverse, these are the Nordic pop-ups. So you got the Nordic, the negative Nordic I just showed you, and then the Nordic pop-ups where I'm going ahead and releasing myself down and I'm taking my hands off the box as quickly as possible, really just focusing on getting back up. So. Once you know those variations, the setup is important. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use a box. Some people may have the strength to go all the way down. Very unlikely though, because this movement is extremely difficult. And as you can tell, I'm not walking quite right because I did it the right way.